were a rich merchant in London, he had plenty of silver and gold. He sent out his daughter to market to save every penny he could. She saw the gold up in her saddle and then settled on the highway. And the gentleman chanced for to meet her, he bid this fair damsel to stay. Three blows of his whistle he gave her, and a pistol he cut to her breast. Saying, deliver your money, or I will your life possess. This pretty fair damsel got frightened, and so did poor Dovin her stead. T'was down from her saddle she lighted, and Dovin trod off with good speed. He stripped his fair damsel stark naked, he gave her his heart for to hold. Was there she stood shivering and shaking, like one that was dying with cold. He run and he bawled and he shouted, he run and he puffed and he blowed, saying, come back, my fair pretty damsel, come back and I'll give you your clothes. My clothes, they are of little value. You can keep them, kind sir, if you please. So he run, then he bawled, and he shouted, till his boots they wore down to the hill. She rode over mountains and valleys, and places she knew very well. She left them with a small trifle, about five shillings to tell. She ran over hills and over meadows, and arrived home about twelve o'clock. And her father looked very much frightened to see her ride home in her smile. She put the tea's horse in the stable, and in this portmanteau she found some hundreds of sparkling diamonds, the value of ten thousand pounds. Oh, five thousand I shall give you, Dad, and I will keep five thousand more. And I think it's a valuable trifle for to keep the wolf from the door.